check my TV. Hey.
Fina. Can you get your Nelly? <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, please stand as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. Okay. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Hi guys, you may all be seated. So, good morning parents, families, and more, most importantly, the class of 2021. Can you believe we are already graduating? We wouldn't have gotten this far without the help of our families, friends, teachers, but especially Ms. Square and Ms. Orozco. I think besides our parents, they were our biggest supporters. I can proudly say Ms. Square was basically our second mom, making sure we were succeeding and always trying our hardest. She would always cheer for our basketball team, soccer team, sword, debate, and cheerleading. She was everywhere. No other principal will put in the work she has put in. Ms. Orozco was always trying her hardest to give us a schedule we wanted. She always she was always smiling and would always greet us. I saw I also saw her at every end of the hallway, and she still managed to help us succeed. Because of her, I had more of a motivation to try my hardest and to keep going forward. She made sure we had the credit in order to graduate and attend college. We all got extremely lucky to have her as our dean. Although Mrs. Square couldn't attend our ceremony, I still had to say a few remarks. I now welcome our honorable dean, Ms. Orozco, to the stage. Everyone, a round of applause. Thank you, Erica. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, students, and families. I, Janet Orozco, am honored to have served as the Dean of Instruction at East Early College High School for your four years. On behalf of the board, Trustee Judith Cruz, our su school support officer, Fra Dr. Franklin Kowalski, our East End Area Superintendent, Giovanni, Dr. Giovanni Ponce, campus principal, Stephanie Square, interim superintendent, Granita Lathan, and the staff of East Early College High School, we would like to welcome each of you to the commencement ceremony honoring the class of 2021. I first want to recognize our diligent, amazing faculty and staff, an amazing group of individuals who have given countless hours to ensure that students are successful in social, emotional, and academics. At this time, faculty and staff at East Early College High School, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Bienvenidos padres de familia, les damos una gran bienvenida a nuestra ceremonia en honor a la clase del 2021. Ha sido un honor ser parte de la carrera académica de sus estudiantes. Les doy un muy fuerte aplauso y gracias a los, a, a los estudiantes, a los maestros y también a ustedes como padre que han servido. Muy importante um, este año escolar, especialmente cuando estamos en virtual. Se los agradecemos. Allow me to introduce our special guest joining us today for our ceremony. Special guests, please stand when I recite your name. Judith Cruz, second vice president, HISD School Board of Trustees. <laughs> Dr. Giovanni Ponce, East Area Superintendent. <laughs> y Loredo, HTC District Chairperson. Mark Spire, Dean of Students at East Early College High School. <laughs> Megan Rodriguez, Campus Social Worker. 
Sarah Wolf Romero, our magnet coordinator. Benjamin Busso, 2020-2021 Teacher of the Year. Patty Williams-Down, Wungo representative. Angela Wedlick, one goal representative. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anyone. East Hartley College High School is recognized as a campus which, in which students earn an associate's degree. These students are represented by an HCC gold stole and a light blue cord. If you have earned your associate's degree with the Houston Community College, please stand at this time to be recognized. We are also extremely proud of our top 10%. These students are recognized by a double gold cord. Please stand if you are at the top 10% of the class of 2021. <laughs> to rise to the top of our class is a true distinction that reflects effort and success far beyond the norm. It is with pleasure that I announce the class of 2021 valedictorian and salutatorian. Please stand to be recognized, valedictorian Johnny Cortez. And our salutatorian Jesus Garcia. Thank you. And now for a few words. I hope I don't get emotional. I, I think I started this journey with you four years ago and to see you grow as um, in character and, and the skills that you've developed, um, it's just an honor to serve here today. Class of 2021, and the words of Victor Franklin, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Seniors, I am so grateful for your patience and commitment that you demonstrated despite all the challenges these four years. These past few months of not knowing for sure what would happen, a pandemic, a crisis, a financial crisis, emotional distress, endless Naviance tasks, countless team meetings, attendance appeals. I'm sure that I added a level of stress not previously experienced. I know I also tried your patience, but your strength and tenacity show through. I trust that the skills that you learned through these challenging times will help guide your decision making in the future. At the end of our four-year four year journey together, my hope is that we have made or we have led uh, by example. I hope that with every interaction with our staff, you feel like we pushed you to become the best version of self. Challenges will come, but remember who you are and what you value every single day. Whatever you strive to do, try it. Try it at least once. Even if you fail at it, you have a lesson to learn. I encourage you to seek moments in which you advocate for your community. It is imperative that you never cease to give your life meaning. In doing so, you're gonna find your place in the world. I want you to go out and change the world, but I want you to come back and change your community. In conclusion, for one last time, Mighty Falcons, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. And now, Please welcome to the stage our second Vice President of the HISD School Board of Trustees, District 8, Judith Cruz, with the presentation of the School Board Awards. Good morning, buenos dias. Me da mucho orgullo estar aquí hoy con cada uno de ustedes y sus familias. Scholars, welcome to your commencement. I'm so happy that we get to be here in person and have a public ceremony so we can see and honor each of you who has chosen to be here today. For the seniors who couldn't join us, I hope you can feel the love from here as you watch this because it's flowing your way. To everyone who has helped you on your journey to graduation is so proud of you today. Your family, friends, teachers, and administrators, your board of education, all of us, but each of you should be enormously proud of yourselves as well. You have come from such a long, a long way through incredibly difficult circumstances, navigating through the COVID pandemic. You had to master not only the coursework, but also computer and technical skills. 
You had to adapt to new social, emotional, and other personal challenges and losses you may have suffered. COVID took so many things from us, but it could not take away your resolve, your determination to earn your diploma and build your future. That diploma tells the world that you have gained no the knowledge you need to become, become, begin a career as a skilled, productive employee or to successfully pursue a higher education. But of all the things you have learned, perhaps one of the most important lessons is to have faith in your own ability. Ironically, as you enter adulthood, an expression from a Disney's children's classic seems appropriate. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Wise words from Christopher Robin to Winnie the Pooh. Take them to heart as you venture out on the path to the rest of your life. Believe in yourself. Know and grow your natural abilities. Never stop learning. Dream big and work hard to attain those dreams. Remember all of those that have helped you along the way, and most importantly, resolve to do the same for others. Whether you plan to enter college, an immediate career, or the military, I am confident you have what it takes to succeed. And now on behalf of the trustees of the HISD Board of Ed Education, it is my great pleasure to share with you the names of the recipients of the Board of Education Student Awards, a distinctive honor given annually to outstanding seniors in recognition of their overall exceptional accomplishments in the area of academic achievement, character, service, and leadership to East Early College High School. First, the names of five outstanding seniors receiving honorable mention. Please come up to receive your award. Erika Gonzalez. Do I was like, wait. Do you get, do I have, okay. Jesus Garcia. Brianna Ferman Salmeron. Jose Vélez. and Jade Perez. And now the recipients of the 2021 Outstanding Student Board, Board Awards are Johnny Cortez and Yaneli Munoz. Thank you. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. I'd like to end with a quote by um, Frida Kahlo. She said, Pies para que las quiero si tengo alas para volar. Felicidades, class of 2021. I'm going to welcome our um, class president, the president of class of 2021 for the student reflection. Round of applause for Yanelli Munoz. class of 2021. Falcons, before I commence my speech, I would like to thank my mother for everything she has done for my brothers and me. As much as we may argue, I really do appreciate you and I would not be here today if it wasn't for your strength and unconditional love. I also want to thank my supportive family and friends, especially the ones who are here today and of course the ones who couldn't make it for encouraging me to strive for greatness and to achieve my dreams. I want to give a huge shout out to all of our loving teachers and our class sponsor, Ms. Nitch Richards, for the wonderful and inspiring lessons you made, ta you taught us. Oh, yes. Woo! <laughs> okay. I want you to know that we deeply value the connections we have made. Because of these amazing, wonderful teachers and staff, I have always felt welcome to go to school. It felt like a home to me and a place where I knew I could go if I ever needed anything. I know I speak for all of us when I say we are truly lucky to have had teachers like you all and Ms. Huggins. I know her love still lingers within us today and she is never truly gone. <clears throat> As we all gather here today, I can't help but feel shocked, nervous, and a little bit excited that the day we have all anticipated is finally here. After the memorable four years, we're finally graduating, yay. <laughs> Although this year and a half has been difficult and tragic at times, I think it has made us value human contact as well as the people who empower us the most. It is also a moment for us, a moment for us to reassess our own values. With this fleeting gift, I am thankful for how you all have inspired me. While we take a moment to reflect on these high school memories, I would like to give a word of, wait, my bad. <laughs> I would like to give a few words of encouragement. The best way I can put this is like this. Remind yourself that you are homemade cookies, not the store-bought kind. What I'm really saying is that you are neither generic nor a cheap treat that can easily be replaced. You, are, you all radiate with individuality and have a sweet, charismatic way of being that matures within time and delicate attention. I want to take a moment to emphasize how proud we all are of each and every one of you and how you should also feel proud of what you have accomplished. To conclude my speech, I want to encourage you to be resourceful. Doing so will help you push through the new and frightening hardships that we'll surely encounter in our lives after today. You all are strong and will persevere despite the past decisions and what may have held you back. I want you to know that you are not alone. Each of you has the power to create something positive and to give back light into the world because, of course, you are all homemade cookies. With much love, I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. I thank you all for the memories and the lessons you have taught me. And now, please welcome to the stage the class of 2020 to 2021 East Early College High School Teacher of the Year, Mr. Benjamin Busso. Good morning, class of 2021. Oh, oh thank you, Spire. All right. Good? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, uh, not going to lie, I got a call from Spire yesterday at 3 30. Saw me. I had to make a speech to you guys. I was super excited. Then the social anxiety kicked in. So, I'm going to ramble on for a minute, send you guys on your way. Um, one goal economics. Those were some really interesting classes we had together. Maybe we might have learned something. Uh, 
hopefully you guys might have learned some from some of my mistakes, uh, especially in economics. Uh, under no circumstances put a motorcycle on your credit card when you are in your 20s. It will ruin your life. Uh, you got to trust me on that one. You just got to trust me on that one. All right. Uh, this has not been the senior year that you deserved or earned. Yeah, you deserve so much more than a series of very awkward teams meetings. Uh, Hurricanes, natural disasters, riots, this pandemic that ruined everything. You guys deserve way better than this. Uh, you're going to leave here shortly as adults, and these problems all become your problems. Um, now, if I was a gambling man, and I think you guys might know I am, there is no other group of young people out there who I'll put some money down, who are ready, willing, and able to fix all of these problems. You guys are so awesome. I am so lucky to have been your teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Busso. And now for our um, salutatorian speech for from Jesus Garcia, if you can please make your way to the stage. Round of applause. Um, how far away should it be? Because I don't know how far. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. I would like to start off by saying welcome to the graduation class of 2021. Uh, it's that time, and we're here. So congratulations for that first. Yeah. It's always true to say that there have been many obstacles we've had to overcome to get to this point, but it's been especially true this time around. A lot has changed over the past so year or so and the term adjustment has become one of the most prevalent challenges because of it. It has been a time of constant change and uncertainty, but as today proves, it hasn't stopped us. Even though everyone has had their own individual experiences, it's true for all of us and that is something we should all be proud of no matter who says otherwise. And these skeptics also have no say in how our futures will play out. Everyone here has the ability to accomplish their dreams, whatever they may be, and I know that you all will. Sorry about that, I'm a little nervous. Uh, you, using these tools that we've used over the past four years to get to where we are today are what will help us for the rest of our lives and will also enable us to achieve our aspirations throughout the rest. This is especially important with our future hardships when they arrive before us. During those times, looking back at our past achievements and how far we've come will show us that things will be okay. It will prove our mindset and it will improve our mindset on the situation by showing us a path forward, and it will help us look to the future with a more hopeful vision. Now, I would like to end this by thanking those closest to me who have supported me. Firstly, to my friends in the class of 2021 itself. Thank you all. Many of you have helped me over the years with classwork, preparing for future afterwards, with my personal difficulties, and even with the mundane everyday frustrations, which everyone knows there are a lot of. Without you all, school just might have been impossible. I would also like to thank the teachers I've had who have always offered extra help to make sure I succeeded in their classes, but many have also gone above and beyond this and what was required of them to help me in many other areas like college applications, other school related skills, and so much more that they were not obligated to do, but did anyway. So I want to thank all of the teachers who are here and those who are not as well. This is something I did not expect uh, from all of them, but I am very grateful for nonetheless my academic achievements would have been even more difficult without you. And lastly, I would like to thank my family for all the support and help they have given me for the past four years and throughout my whole life. There have been many points in which it seemed like I might not get through that, but thanks to their help, I'm here today. It's something I'm eternally grateful for and I will never forget. But with that, I know this is a very special day and I hope all of you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, please welcome to the stage Easterly College High School 2020 to 2021 valedictorian Johnny Cortez.
it's kind of hot out here, isn't it? Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. It's an absolute honor to be up here as we celebrate our accomplishments. Before I get into it, I'd like to thank those that have inspired me, shaped me, guided me, or been there for me. Empezando con mis padres, Maya, Pa, gracias para todos los sacrificios que hiciste. Gracias. Yo hago esto para ustedes. Los quiero mucho. To my siblings sitting next to my parents, thank you. Thank you for all the guidance. Ashley, thank you for being like a second mom to me, driving me places when mom and dad were too busy working. Jerry, you have no idea how much you've shaped me. Being closest in age to you, I followed your example all along, even when I was barely learning to walk. Thank you for being a good role model. Thank you, I love you. Crystal, thank you for all the affection and attention you gave me. On to the little ones, my nieces and nephews. Sam, thank you for all the childhood memories. Sarah, Sabrina, Eric, Teaser, Delany, I love y'all. And I know y'all make me proud in the future. On to the teachers. Well, before I get to that, thank you to the rest of my folks out in the stands. My heart goes out to y'all. On to the teachers. Mr. Benicourt, thank you for making class so exciting. Mr. Park, I know you're I hope you see this, but you're going on to retirement and I wish the best for you. Mr. Busso, thank you for bringing joy to our hearts and always making us laugh. Mr. Walton, thank you for all the guidance and support you gave us. Berlin, thank you for all the help and kindness. Mr. Orozco and Mr. Spire, thank y'all for keeping everything intact. And Principal Square, wherever you are. Oh, there you are. Thank you for, for giving us endless opportunities. And thank y'all to the rest of the teachers that make this all possible. Also, thank y'all to my peers. I may not have been close to all of y'all, but each of y'all has played a role in my life, regardless of how big or small it was. I'm glad to have met you all. And I'm glad that I'm up here and we're able to celebrate our accomplishments with the people that I cried with, laughed with, smiled with, and joked with. We're graduating, but not just that, we overcame a lot. Our high school experience was anything but normal. Before we even got into high school, we faced Harvey and our town was shaken. And many of us were left without food, water, or basic necessities or energy or hope. And then sophomore year, we lost a teacher who was really dear to us and like a mother to us. Rest in peace, Ms. Huggins. I know you're up there smiling and laughing right about now. Also, junior year when that came are not even about halfway through high school the whole world was shaking for us it was here with the pandemic and high school would never be the same for us we took to virtual learning and we had to relearn how to learn from the motivation issues from the distractions at home to isolation many other serious issues it wasn't easy but we prevailed and i know anywhere we go we'll keep prevailing So today marks a beginning, marks an end and a beginning. Many of us are sure where we're going next, but that's okay. Even the person with the most detailed plan has doubts. You can't plan for everything. Life is gonna hit you with curveballs. But as long as you have an open heart and an open mind, you'll be okay. Everything else will settle itself. We're all gonna embark on completely different paths and different journeys. We'll all experience new things. So I ask that we all be open and sensitive to all these new things that we'll experience. As many of you know, I'm going to Duke University in North Carolina. It might be distant. It may, it may be distant. I may be one of only a few Hispanics. I may not come from a wealthy family like many there do, but I swear that while I'm at Duke, I'll never forget where I come from. I walk with pride and represent all of us. I wish the absolute best for every single one of y'all here. And it's been a great four years, and I, nothing but the best for y'all. I love y'all.
Good morning. My name is Mark Spire, and I'm Dean of Students at East Early College High School. I'm a proud Dean of Students at East Early College High School. I am also the registrar, and I make the recommendation for y'all to graduate. Will the candidates for graduation please stand? Mrs. Stephanie Square, principal at East Sterley College High School, and I would like to present to you these candidates for graduation. They have been certified as having met all requirements for graduation as set forth by the Texas Education Agency and the Board of Education of the Houston Independent School District and are eligible to receive their diplomas and or their certificates of attendance. Let's give them all one big round of applause. <laughs> Students, you may be seated. Will the first row of candidates graduating at the top of their class please come forward? I know it's hot, y'all, so we're going to get through this pretty quick. Johnny Alexander Cortez. Jesus Garcia. Jade Juliana Perez. Nathan Amarachuku Odendigo. Yaneli Rosario Munoz. Thank you. Brianna Giselle Furman Salmeron. Eden Polina. Erica Jacqueline Gonzalez. Brianna Nicole Cabrera. Brianna Yvette Pacheco. Jesus Antonio Cuevas. Jose Manuel Vélez. Ezequiel Aguilar. Jesús Iván Aguilar. Isaac Álvarez.
Tailin Álvarez. Johnny Ignacio Aranjo. Gabriel Arredondo. Elias Ballesta. Got it. Lisbeth Baltasar. Alexa Gabriela Banda. Fabián Canchola. Héctor Cardenas. Michael Román Carrizal. Saide Mariel Castellanos. Jonathan Cervantes. Meneli Sofía Chaires Uribe. Isaac Cordova. Giovanni Anthony de la Garza. Eileen Alexis Delgadillo. Jose Alonso Díaz. José Juan Díaz de León. Daisy Domínguez. Angélica Eguía. Jalen Flowers. Javier Calvan. Carlos García. Good job, Carlos. Denitza Garcia. <laughs> Kayla Marie 
Garcia. Abigail Brianna Garza. Brianna Ninfa Gonzalez. Bianca Lynn Gonzalez. Giselle Vázquez Gutiérrez. Alyssa Bethany Hernandez. Ashley Hernandez. Fabian Alexander Hernandez. Good job, Fabian. Abigail Hernandez. Ricardo Herrera. Jaime Lara. Teresa Hienmai Lee. Marco Antonio Leon. Jocelyn Leon. Hugo Magana. Yep, yep. Jasmine Marroquín. I welcome that cloud cover, by the way. Thank you. Brandon Martinez. Jacob Allen Martinez. Joel Martinez. Leslie Ann Martinez. Matthew Andrew Martinez. Jeanette. Mendes. Joel Mendoza.
Leslie Mendoza. Karen Abigail Morales. Jasmine Anai Moreira. Flor Isabel Moreno. Itzel Nava. Joshua Gabriel Noyola. Daniela Pacheco. Brenda Angelica Perdomo. Cesar Perez. Elizabeth Ariadna Perez. Victoria Perez. Iris Puente. Ashley Maria Quintero. Levi Ramirez. Leonardo Ramirez Leal. Ezequiel Rico. Yes, you did. Sarah Marie Rios. Rachel Rodriguez. Michael Andrew Romero. <laughs> Alexa Catalina Rosales. Clarissa Isabella Rosales.
Noah Alexander Rosario. Isabel Santibáñez. Saraí Sierra. Karina Lynn Smoot. Pedro Solis. Joshua Trejo. <laughs> Ashley Andrea Valdez. Juan José Vázquez. <laughs> Álvaro Joan Vega. David Vega. <laughs> Emily Beth Vega. Perla Judith Vega. Emily Zapata. just in time for that son to come out. Last but not least, Daniel Suniga. Having completed the curriculum prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Houston Independent School District, and upon the recommendation of the East Early College High School Registrar, Mark Spire, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Education, I now confer upon each of you your high school diploma with all rights and privileges appertaining thereunto.
You may now move your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you East Early College High School class of 2021 graduates. Students, please remain in your seats. We are going to exit as we practiced yesterday. <laughs> Just as soon as you hit the track, uh, you may go meet with your families. 